Hello, I'm Corporal Sean Vinson, and welcome to On the Beat, brought to you by the men and women of the Baltimore County Police Department. This program brings you the latest information on public safety issues in our community and police department operations. I would like to thank Michael Kohler and the Comcast staff for the new show opening and format. We hope that you will enjoy On the Beat. In today's program, we will be speaking with Officer Gary Doucette to discuss home and holiday safety tips. We will also be speaking with April Dougherty of the Baltimore County State's Attorney's Office. April will discuss the problem of animal abuse and Baltimore County's response to this crime. Finally, we need your help in solving a murder that happened in Baltimore County. or darkness is upon us. We will also be celebrating the holiday season soon. Many jurisdictions will see a rise in certain crimes this time of year. Here to discuss some great crime prevention techniques is Officer Gary Doucette of the Towson Precinct's Community Outreach Team. Uh, thank you for being on the show with us today. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Officer Doucette. And uh, with the cold weather coming upon us right now this time of year, uh, we usually see an increase in stolen vehicles. Can you explain to our audience the problem with leaving your vehicles running while warming them up? Yeah, one of the problems is when you leave your vehicle warmed up, it's uh, likelihood it'll probably be stolen because um, people want to keep their cars warm and they want to get out to their vehicles to make sure that it's nice and warm and they get inside. But that's a, a way for criminals to get in your car and steal it and go and commit other crimes. Okay. And can you explain the law about leaving your car unattended while sure. running? Uh, the law, you cannot leave your vehicle either in front of your house in a convenience store or anywhere with the keys inside with the vehicle running and unattended. Unattended meaning no one is in the vehicle operating the vehicle. So if I'm going in the 7-Eleven and I'm just running in there for a coffee real quick? That's illegal. It's illegal to leave it. And also, as you know, people are going to the 7-Eleven back and forth while you're going to the store. Someone can come out and take the vehicle while you're going into the store. That's and right. it's also a fine in Baltimore County also. Okay. And we've actually seen car thefts in front of people's homes. Right? Exactly. When people go out, when it's, it's getting colder now. So people want to warm their cars up so they can go about their business so, it's, so they can be in a nice warm car. But also, it's dangerous because, like I said before, criminals can get in the car, steal it, go and do other things, not only to you, but probably to some of your neighbors or surrounding areas. Okay. And since we're talking about cars and keeping our things safe around our, keeping our cars safe, sure. uh, how about the belongings within the car? Um, how can we secure what we have inside of our car? When you're in your, keep everything in your vehicle out of sight. What I usually use is if I can see it, the bad guy can see it. So keep everything out of your out of sight. Put put things in your console, in your in your console where it's covered, or put it in the trunk or in your glove box so it be so it's out of sight so no one can see it. And I guess the safest place is if you can take it out of the car with you. Yeah, take it out of your car and put it in your home. That's the best. That's one of the best things to do also. But unfortunately, sometimes people don't have that luxury to put certain things in their house. But the best thing sometimes is put it in the trunk or like I say in the glove box or in the uh, center console that's that you can close and, and uh, doesn't lock, but you can at least close it. So if I'm out shopping and have several purchases, the best idea is to put, is it, to put it in your trunk. Don't put it in the car because, like I said before, if, if I can see it, they can see it. So you want to put those packages in the trunk so that they're out of sight. Make sure that your vehicle is no one can, if someone looks inside your vehicle and they don't see anything, they'll go somewhere else. Okay. And one of, one of the most interesting techniques of crime prevention that we talk about that I never personally thought of is uh, the garage door opener. What's the problem that we see with leaving a garage door open well, in a car? Well, when you leave the garage door open in the car, someone can get that vehicle, and if they get the vehicle, they can actually get in the garage and also able to get inside your home. And a lot of what we also found also is when your vehicle is taken, people leave a spare key in the vehicle for their other cars. So we 
we, we discourage people from leaving a spare key because if someone gets your car, they're going to come back with the garage open and get the other vehicle. Now you have two cars that are stolen and you have a burglary. Okay. And people might not believe it, but we actually handle vehicle thefts of people that leave the keys in the in, car. In their vehicles because people just want to, like you said before, they want to run into the seven. I'm, I'm only going to be, as we always say, a minute. But that minute turns into two, three, four, and when you come outside, your car's gone. And a lot of times, people have not the ignition key, they have the house keys. So if they're able to get your, uh, your vehicle, they can check the car for your registration, and they can also find out where you live. Okay. And we kind of lead into that, uh, some home prevention techniques, some, some ways that we can keep our homes safe. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell our viewers uh, how we can make our homes more safe? Well, one of the things you want to do is your bushes. You want to trim your bushes back so that um, someone can't just, um, you know, okay. look into it. Um, and look into your into your home. You know your exterior light. And a lot of times people have uh, motion detectors that you have in the front and the back. And if you're away from your house, keep your uh, interior lights on. And then we, people always have timers, so you can use a timer if you're gone away for a period of time to let the timer uh, work for itself. And like I said before, keep your trim trim your bushes and your plants, and um, make sure they're trimmed enough that no one can can even look inside your um, inside your home. And the most important. Thing Thing. Keep your doors and windows locked at all times. Even if you're just gone for, as we always say, a minute, keep it locked. And we also have, uh, you can also use devices to uh, secure your doors and windows. A lot of homes have locks that your window can only go up like a few inches. You want to, you want to keep that, activate that for your, for your home. And you can also use a Charlie bar, correct, with a door With lock? a door lock, yes, yes. sir. You can, use okay. a, you can either put it at the top or the bottom of, of your uh, sliding door. Okay. And then uh, we can install security cameras and alarms, correct? Uh, we, a lot of people have the cell phones that have the cameras on them that they can tell if someone is at their home even when you even press the button on your uh, doorknob. Okay. Excuse me, on your, on your, uh, the door. Okay. And how about my alarm information? Do I want to share that information with anybody? Never, you never want to share your alarm information. You only want to share it with the people who have access to your home, if your family members who have access to your home. And maybe if you, if you have a neighbor, a trusted neighbor, let them know just in case you're out of town or, or away for a period of time. Okay. And you had mentioned timers if I'm away from the house for a certain amount of time. Um, what's some other good idea as far as my mail? Yo, oh, yeah, you want your mail. You want to get uh, your neighbor to pick up your mail or have the, uh, the post office leave it at the uh, post office so you can pick it up there. Okay. You don't want your mail to pile up because if it piles up, then someone would probably know that this person is not home. And if their mail's piled up, then that could present, present a problem to you. Okay. And usually in our neighborhoods, we're aware of our neighbors, who people are when sure. they're coming and going. But if we see something different in the neighborhood, something suspicious, what should I do? Sure. We always tell people, if you see somebody you don't know, we, we encourage you to call 911. Even if it turns out to be a neighbor who lives down the street, then that lets you know that you're doing what you're supposed to do. And if, it, if that happens, just apologize to the neighbor that you're sorry you haven't seen this person before. You just want to make sure that the neighborhood is safe and make sure that everything's okay. That's all. Okay. And during the holiday season, we're going to be out shopping, spending a lot of time in our local shopping centers, sure. our malls. What's some safety tips we should be aware of while we're shopping? Of course, we don't want to expose a lot of money while we out shopping. A lot of people now have uh, debit and credit cards. Make sure they are secure, that you don't expose them to someone while you're in the, while you're in the store. A lot of times if, if you're in the store and you have to put your PIN number, people can look over your shoulder and see that you're putting a PIN number into your into the account and they are able to get that information. If, they're, if they were to do harm to you, they can get your information through the, you know, from the purse that you had the uh, um, the items there. Okay. All right. These are some great ideas. We really appreciate you for joining us on the show today. Okay. okay. Thanks Thank for having me. Thank you very much. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Uh, Officer Doucette gave us some important information and techniques on how to keep our homes safe, how to keep our valuables secure. For more information, you can always visit the Baltimore County Police Department's <coughs> website. The website address is on your screen now. Coming up next, we will speak with April Dougherty of the Baltimore County State's Attorney's Office about animal abuse and neglect. But first, this message.